This is what happens when it's Mattel vs. Kenner or Jurassic World vs. Jurassic Park. Keep watching. Watching as we unbox this big, huge 50 gallon box of Jurassic Park dinosaur toys and compare it to Mattel Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom dinosaur toys from Mattel. So it's Kenner vs. Mattel or Mattel vs. Kenner also. Welcome to WT Toys. Okay, so the first thing we are going to compare is the T-Rexes. Mattel, Kenner, and Hasbro really concentrated on the T-Rexes. So, without further ado, this here is the Red Rex. And then we will move to a baby T-Rex to another baby T-Rex. And then we have the Chaos Effect Thrasher T-Rex. We have the Bull T-Rex exclusive to Toys R Us. We have the original Bull T-Rex here. These are all huge dinos. We have the Chaos Effect Bull T-Rex over here. And then we have a regular Thrasher T-Rex over here. I'll show you guys in a little bit why, what their names mean and stuff. And then we have a, a custom painted Gulper Bull T-Rex here, which was never actually released to the public. We have a remote control uh, T-Rex. And we have another Thrasher T-Rex over here. Okay guys, so this is gonna be a little bit difficult at the beginning here because there's so many T-Rexes. I mean, Mattel and Kenner and Hasbro came out with so many different T-Rexes. And when I'm comparing these guys, I'm, I say I'm comparing Mattel to Kenner. But it's to Mattel to Kenner and Hasbro because Hasbro bought Kenner so they are basically the same company. So basically I'm comparing Jurassic World to Jurassic Park. These four are the four biggest uh, Jurassic Park dinos. Let's take a quick look at them. Then we'll compare them in size to the Colossal T-Rex and take a look at the other T-Rexes. So this one here is, uh, this one's called a Golfer Bull T-Rex. This was never released. I bought this one, uh, uh, artist on eBay custom painted it. This was the biggest one. It could swallow probably about five full size action figures right there. And then the next one along the same lines was the Chaos Effect bull t-rex which is just like the bull t-rex but super bright colors again this guy could swallow a bunch of action figures and uh same with this one too you could take them out of the slit in his stomach and this one is a bull t-rex that was made for toys r us only uh it's solid inside because it has a big speaker for sound So it does sound cool. The front looks exactly like the Bull T-Rex. You have some room here, but you could only fit like one action figure because the stomach is filled up with a speaker. And this one too, the nice thing was it had adjustable feet. So you could stand this guy up higher where the other Bull T-Rex is, you can't do that. And then this one here was the original Bull T-Rex. He did make a roaring sound, I'm not sure if the bed, oh there we go. So this one had like glass eyes, huge mouth, he could swallow about five action figures you take him out of 
the slot on his stomach. This one is JP28. Now let's go ahead and compare them inside. As you can see, Mattel <laughs> makes this guy look tiny. Before Mattel came out with the Colossal Rexes, these bull T-Rexes were the biggest T-Rexes you could find. They're nice because they're all rubber. I mean, Kenner really did a fabulous job. And uh, like I said, Kenner and Hasbro, same company. But they did a fabulous job on the Jurassic Park dinos, not the Jurassic World. But you can see the mouth does open up way more. I mean, he could swallow the head of the bull T-Rex and this colossal T-Rex could fit 20 full-size action figures. So this one here is the battle damage colossal T-Rex with sound from Walmart. And all the bull T-Rexes from uh, Jurassic Park are about, well they are all the same size. This here is the the first colossal T-Rex from Mattel. Again, he could swallow about full, uh, 20 full-size action figures. And he is a really cool, huge-looking dino. Okay, then here I got another battle damage colossal T-Rex. Again, you can see the size difference. This one is one I bought from an artist on eBay. Custom painted, custom teeth and everything. But artists didn't do a great job and these teeth do keep falling out but you know what the concept is there it looks really cool in concept so there is some artists that do a much better job okay then here we have a bunch more t-rexes like i said the t-rexes it's a little hard to compare because there's so many of them so I'm just going to take one by one comparison side by side. The ones here on the right are by Kenner slash Hasbro. The ones here on the left are by Mattel. So first of all, this one here is a T-Rex from the Lost World. This is like a Joker T-Rex. I mean, he is just <coughs> ugly looking. This one was a remote control. His mouth did open and close and he roared. But I just replaced the battery. For some reason, the remote does not work anymore. He does have rubber skin. He's cool. This one here is a thrash and throw from Mattel. Swings the head back and forth. You can get it to chomp, lift the head, it roars, and it stumps. So compared to the two, I would definitely choose Mattel's. Okay, then we are going to move on to the Red Rex. The Red Rex was a uh, red T-Rex made by uh, Kenner slash Hasbro. It says uh, JP09. When I say Kenner, I mean Hasbro too. Like I said earlier, same company. So forgive me if it actually says Hasbro on it because uh, they are the same company. So uh, it's all rubber skin really cool looking no screw holes compared to uh, let's compare this to a couple of them uh, okay some of these still have a hard time standing especially the older rubber ones I mean it's probably not so I'm gonna have to lay him down uh, but anyways these are the uh, classic the Legacy Collection Chomping T-Rexes. These ones, if you push it, the mouth does open up. Really cool looking, no screw holes. This is the regular one, and this is the battle damage one. It's got a bunch of scars and everything on it, as you can see there. By the way, guys, if you do like any of these, I have done full reviews on all of them. Awesome battles and a lot of other stuff. So with these, you know what, Mattel's are cool, but I would pick this rubber Rex. I mean, he is just awesome. I love the way you could flex his neck up and down because he's all rubber. Uh, much more realistic looking battles. I mean, look at that. You could have him neck bend in all different directions. So I would definitely pick 
the red rex here okay here now we're moving on this one is a most of these uh kenner ones are really expensive really rare this one took me almost two years to find the good example i could afford this is the thrasher t-rex called the thrasher because when you move his tail he does thrash back and forth but this is the chaos effect one he's got bright coloring all over the entire body is rubber see it says jp29 we're gonna compare this one to Mattel's one here. Sorry, some of them just still don't stand up good. Mattel's uh, ana anatomical one. So this one here, the whole thing like comes apart. You can see all the insides of the T-Rex, the heart beats. You could take the leg apart, it's a uh, skeleton. So compared to the two, I would still pick the Chaos Effect thrash and throw t-rex okay then here we have the regular thrash and throw t-rex again because you could move his tail and he thrashes his head back and forth his mouth will lock open very realistic looking head teeth entire body is rubber but here we've got some really strong contenders which i like even more both of these are custom ones I bought on eBay. Very expensive, guys. This is the uh, one I showed you uh, a moment ago. The uh, Legacy Collection Chompin' T-Rex. But it's painted to look like the Diablo Rex. I put a piece of Lego in there to keep his mouth open. So that one is a super great paint job by an artist on eBay. And then this one, too. This is the Thrash and Throw T-Rex. This one, same control through the tail. Head moves sideways. You can get the mouth to chomp down, up to roar. You got the stomping action here. But this one, the artist put in custom teeth. You can see they look really awesome. This one cost me $200 on eBay, but in my opinion it was well worth it because it just looks so awesome so between these ones i'm gonna have to pick uh mattel's and not Kenner's. okay then here we got some smaller jurassic park ones these are still the two i just showed you because mattel didn't really make any small ones beside the blind bag ones well, actually, no, they did. I apologize. They did make a uh, baby T-Rex, which I do not have right here. But, you know what? Uh, this one is actually a young T-Rex from Jurassic Park. He's all rubber. This one is JP05. He's got a big boot on the side. This is a uh, baby T-Rex with the broken leg from uh, Jurassic Park three when uh, t-rexes attack their camper this is a nice like custom made one by uh, factory entertainment this is a t-rex his head moves up and down so this is a nice display one and then i have the uh generic one this is like a knockoff from china and that's pretty much all the T-Rexes I have for Mattel and Kenner. Okay, now we're going to move on to the Carnotaurus. Here we have the Demon Carnotaurus. And we have the Bone Crusher Carnotaurus. Okay, now it's time to compare the Carnotauruses. Which, let me tell you, I'm going to have a hard time with this one because... <laughs> I like both. Uh, here we have the Mattel Carnotaurus with the really cool uh, action feature button. Again, no screw holes or anything. But then we have the Kenner slash Hasbro ones, which, well, you know what? Let, let's do this. It is uh, Jurassic World versus Jurassic uh, Park. So. The Jurassic World Mattel ones versus the Kenner Jurassic Park one. This is the uh, Bone Breaker Carnotaurus JP28. 
called the bone breaker because it opens its mouth way up like that if you move its leg. This one is awesome. I found this one in mid condition on eBay, but I did pay a fortune and it was missing that uh, piece on the bottom. And then we have the Demon Carnotaurus in the back. This one's uh, on the name, it says Demon Carnotaurus, JP19. A uh, big piece missing from its tail here. This one is all rubber, it does open its mouth all the way up and everything. But, in my opinion, it's not as cool as the Bone Breaker and it can't stand anymore. So, out of the three, you know what, it's such a hard choice, but... I'm still gonna pick the Kenner side on this one because Kenner did a great job with their Carnotauruses and until uh, Mattel comes up with something better, Carnotauruses, Kenner wins. Okay, moving on to the Allosaurus. We have the Battle Damage Allosaurus here and we have the Allosaurus Assault from Toys R Us. Okay, now it's time to head to the Allosaurus, which again, I'm gonna have a hard time choosing. This is Mattel's Allosaurus, which actually has sound, uh, cool chomping, adjustable legs and arms, uh, no screw holes, but, I mean, Kenner did such a great job with the Allosauruses. This is the Battle Ravish. Allosaurus. This one's cool because like the T-Rex I showed you earlier, you could bop, pop pieces off and take a look at like the internal organs or have this guy fight dinos and get huge pieces ripped off of him. So this one is JP47. And then we have the Allosaurus Assault by Hasbro. This one also had like a uh, battle damage piece on it right there. Really cool aggressive looking Allosaurus with moving parts all over. So with this one, <sighs> with this one I'm going to go with uh, Kenner Hasbro because they just did such a great job with the Allosauruses. Uh, Mattel really has to work on it. I mean you can see the inside of that tongue is painted black, so I'm not too happy about that. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the Baryonyx. We have this JP63 Baryonyx here. We have another JP Baryonyx here. And then we have a third JP Baryonyx here. Okay, now we are going to move on to the Baryonyx. Both Kenner, Hasbro, and Mattel did great jobs with these. Uh, but I think Mattel did a bit better job. If you, it has a nice action button that's hidden, uh, roaring, the mouth opens, it chomps, the legs and the arms are all adjustable, no screw holes on this one. And then the second one Mattel made that came with the uh, slime kit too. This one had uh, the chomping action. Everything the same as the first one except it has an orange piece on its head and it has no sound. But uh, Kenner Hasbro did a great job with their Baryonyxes too. This is one of them. Uh, all three of these the same action feature. Move the head and swing sideways which is not that great rather have chomping jaws, but the uh, mouth does open and close. This one is a really cool color combination. And then they also had a uh, red one here, which looks like it's got evil zombie eyes. This one just says uh, JP, just like that other one. And then here is the original one. This was the JP63. This one also had cool coloring. I do like all three of these, bar actually all five of the Baryonyxes. So both sides did a great job here, but you know what? With the job uh, Mattel did with the chomping, I mean, you have much more fun with this. I mean, you could have them chomp down on another dino and 
have battles and everything. This I will with the Baryonyx. I am going to choose with him. Okay, now we're gonna move on to Triceratops. We've got a smaller JP Triceratops here. You've got a uh, JP44 Triceratops here. You have a, a knockoff of the JP Triceratops. We've got a Chasmosaurus. Okay, it's not a Triceratops, but it's close. And then we got the big, huge JP08 Triceratops. Okay, and then we are moving on to Triceratops. Here on the left, I have the Jurassic Park ones. On the right, I have the Jurassic World ones. This one's a Sinoceratops, but it's close enough to Triceratops. I just wanted to go ahead and group it in there. But anyways, let's go ahead and check all of these out. So you have a nice, cool little Jurassic Park one over there. This one here is a, a knockoff of the uh, Jurassic Park one. This one is from China, but they did a pretty good job other than the screw holes. So that's sort of iffy. And then you have a Jurassic Park uh, JP44 one here with the action feature, moves his head up and down. So this is more of a smaller size figure. And then I have, uh, I believe this is a Chasmosaurus. Uh, I put it in with the Triceratops family. It is close enough. This is a JP21. And then they have the big one. They have the big rubber Triceratops, which is cool. This one, if you push the sides, the head does move up and down, big open wound here. This is JP08, like I said, all rubber. So this one has a cool action feature. But then we're gonna move on to Mattel 2. This Mattel one here, it's got a big wound on the side that opens and closes over there. And then we've got this one. Like I said, this one is really cool because it has the action button here. And roars, moves his head, really awesome coloring, no screw holes anywhere. And then they did a great job with the Triceratops too. Action button, moves his head around, it roars. Uh, it, it just looks fabulous, I mean no screw holes or anything. And then they did like a, uh, like a little play one for like younger kids which is still cool. So if I'm looking at these, you know, it's a tough choice because I really like this big Kenner one, but I am gonna go with Mattel because theirs makes the sound and much more realistic looking action. I mean, you could hold these side to side and like have them have a battle like just there. And it just looks so much more realistic the way their heads move and stuff. So definitely Mattel for the Triceratops. Moving on to hatching dinosaur eggs. The Jurassic Park ones came in a really cool container like this. It says hatchling site B. It showed all three here, which I do got all three of them right over here. So we have the raptor hatchling over there. And then we have the Triceratops hatchling over here. And then we have the T-Rex hatching hatchling over here. Okay, now it's time to move on to dinosaur eggs. On the left here, you have Kenner's dinosaur eggs. On the right here, you have Mattel's. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of Mattel's. Mattel's has a cool action feature. If you push it down, it will actually hatch. Uh, the egg will pop off and you have little baby dinos in there. And each of them has a uh, action feature. This is Velociraptor Blue. You got the baby Stiggy Malak. You have a baby. Triceratops, and you have the evil baby T-Rex. I call it evil because when you pull it down, its teeth 
get long. <laughs> so that is funny. But with Kenner's, you get much more detailed looking eggs. So you get an egg here, the whole front, you pop it off yourself. Inside you have a really cool looking dinos. Here we've got a baby triceratops. It looks like it's got glass sides. Very realistic looking. The egg piece pops back on nice and easy. And it looks very realistic looking. And then we had a baby T-Rex over here. So with glass size again. Really cool looking. GP56. And then we had a baby Velociraptor here. You can see it's got the little tiny third claws, glass eyes. So, you know what? Mattel's is fun because it's got the action gimmick to it, but Kenner's are more realistic looking and so definitely I'm going to go with Kenner's because I like the looks of theirs a lot. Watch tomorrow to see part two of Mattel vs. Hasbro. Okay, so if you guys enjoyed that video, I do got a thousand, over a thousand more. The majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Transformers, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Scooby-Doo, and a lot more. Check out the playlist on my channel or for more fun Jurassic World videos. Check out the playlist at the end of this video. You guys are awesome, and I will see you. And today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.